Hi class, this is Josh Tobias and Jeffrey Patterson and today we are going to be doing our intervention video with each other. Um, first we're going to start off with uh, me being in the role of the therapist and Jeff being in the role of the client and we're going to talk about Jeff's phobia of um, public speaking. So now that we've gotten that out of the way we're going to go ahead and start. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So Jeff, why don't you tell me a little bit about why you come to see me today? Well, to be honest, I I, uh, I struggle with with public speaking. Um, I have a presentation coming up soon at work, and I'm very nervous about it. Okay. I uh, I don't do very well talking in front of people, especially cameras. And there's gonna be a couple cameras there at okay. this at this at this presentation. So I'm a little worried about, it, a little nervous, very nervous actually. Okay. All right. So it, it sounds like you don't feel very comfortable in front of a camera or in front of a, a group of people speaking or anything like that. Uh, what goes through your mind when you're when you find yourself in a situation like that? Um, I don't know. I, I just get real nervous. Um, sometimes it, I, I just I feel like, like I'm worried that I'm gonna mess up, and then I kind of I think what it is is I I feel like people are gonna look look down on me if I do mess up, and then I just. I don't know, I think that's my big worry is that if I mess up, people are going to just make fun of me. And okay, so it sounds like maybe you feel like people are going to judge you based on your performance so that maybe you're not so comfortable or comp that you feel like maybe you're not competent in front of people. Does that sound accurate? Yeah, yeah, that definitely sounds accurate. Okay. All right, so what we can do to, to try and address that maybe then is we, we can work on, you know, evaluating some of the automatic thoughts that you're having, the, those ideas that come through your head that make you feel uncomfortable, that maybe you don't know the information as well, or that, you know, maybe these people are going to judge me if I screw up or stumble over a word. And we can use uh, what we call exposure to try and alleviate some of those concerns that you have while, while speaking in front of people. So that, you know, that, that that gradual exposure kind of builds over time and gives you a little bit more confidence and makes you realize that, you know, everybody makes a mistake or um, that, you know, challenges those automatic thoughts in a way that makes them less stressful, especially when you're in front of a group of people talking. So how does that sound? That sounds good. So we're going to practice, like, talking from a camera? Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right, yeah, that, yeah. all right, that. I can try that. Okay. All right. So first, what we would do is, you know, how exposure works is that you start with probably the least stressful way to go about something. You know, if you were scared of loud noises, you might start with a small noise and then gradually work your way up there. All right. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so in this case, what we might do with public speaking is when you go home this week, all right, at some point or another, I want you to think about a topic that you're comfortable with speaking. You think you could do that? Yeah. Okay. And once you've identified a topic that you can you feel comfortable with, then maybe you can start by practicing in front of a mirror. Hey, how's that sound so far? Sounds good. Okay. Now, when you do something like that, it's also important that you try to write these things down and how how it how do you feel when you write it down and maybe what's going through your mind when you do write it down or while you're doing that activity. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. And does that sound does that sound feasible for you to be able to do, or is that too much? Do you think? No, I, I mean I, sh I should be able to do that. Okay. Especially if I'm I'm just gonna be starting off by myself. Okay. In the mirror, then I yeah. Okay, and that might difficult. and that might feel you might that helps you feel a little bit more comfortable, so that you know you don't feel as judged or you know because obviously in front of a mirror the only person that's gonna be judging you is you. Right. Right. So okay, so that will help, and then. After that, if you still feel comfortable, then you can move on to talking to, you know, an individual that you might be comfortable with. So maybe like your wife, since you're married, correct? Right. Okay. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. Okay. So then after you talk to your wife about this, the topic that you want to, you know, present to her, write down what you thought, how you felt, you know, and if you still, and how comfortable you were during that. Can you do that, you think? Yeah, I can okay. do that. All right. So then if you still feel comfortable after doing that, then you might be able to, you know, in front of a small group of friends, like maybe if you and your wife go out to dinner, you know what I mean? You talk in front of those people, because again, a smaller crowd, but one that you feel comfortable with, all right? And then, you know, after that event, maybe you can go ahead and write down how you felt and what you thought about during that conversation as well. And then you can kind of compare to how you would feel in front of a larger crowd and see how the differences are there. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
So then the, a bigger step, and this might be more challenging for you as well if you've gotten through all these little, these smaller things, would be talking maybe in front of a meeting. Since you started your new job, you go to a lot of meetings, correct? Right. Okay. Right. So then maybe speaking up in front of these with an idea that you have or something that you feel comfortable with that, that pertains to work, and then writing down how you felt and how you think you did with that. You think you could do that? Would that be too much of a challenge? I feel like I could work up to that, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. So then... So then when we see each other again next week, we can review how you did and, and what thoughts you had during your during those those events. And we can kind of use that information to attack, you know, any automatic thoughts you had that weren't helpful or that were negative about your ability. Because I think that you'll find that, you know, throughout your, your career as a student and stuff, you've had to speak in front of, you know, multiple groups of people and you've done well in, in the past. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, because you've done, obviously you've done well enough that you made it to grad school, and you have this presentation coming up, so obviously you, you've you been competent enough in that regard, so that you, you haven't, you know, you haven't failed out, or that you haven't screwed up too much, right? Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense, yeah. Okay, all right. So then, yeah, so after we practice this, if we need to take it further, and, you know, maybe have you go in front of large groups of strangers and talk and stuff, so that you gradually get more comfortable over time, that might be something that we can explore further if you know if the need arises so and if not well then you know you shouldn't have too much problem hopefully moving forward with the assignment that you have upcoming so does that sound reasonable yeah absolutely okay all right so basically what we're going to have you do then is after the session concludes we'll have you go back you know go back home make a list of you know things that you could talk about who you want to talk to them to or who you want to talk to about them and then practice them in front of the mirror and then go up gradually from there. And what that'll do is hopefully that that exposure will, will give you a little bit of an ability to reduce the anxiety and the, and the fear you have of speaking publicly. So does that sound, how does that sound? That should be fine. Okay. All right. Be fine. All right. Well, I appreciate your time and it's been, it's been a good session. I, I hope that it works well, well for you, and we'll review how well you did with it next week when we meet again. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.